12 a.m. Saturday morning. Game day in Aggieland has begun as 20,000 Aggies fill the east side of Kyle Field to rehearse their role as the 12th man in Texas A&M's home game later that same morning. Here at Texas A&M, we don't do cheers, we do yells. So we get together and go over yells. It uh, gives us a little opportunity to poke a little fun at the opponent tomorrow, but uh, get Aggies together and fired up about being the 12th man and leading our Aggies to victory. Um, a yell is an organized chant um, led by the yell leaders um, in conjunction with the entire 12th man, the student body, and then other former students who uh, join in. It's one of the reasons why Kyle Field is just so intimidating on game day, having 30, 40, 50,000 people yelling in unison. Um, Nowhere else in the country this happens in college football and, and uh, th th the ability for us to go other places outside of Texas, outside of Kyle Field, and to see the looks on people's faces at how you know, organized we are and how unique and how cool and how special what we have is that you know, a lot of places don't have, that's when I really kind of fully understood and you know, appreciated our yells. I mean, it's not just yelling some generic you know, school color or go red, go blue. It's, it's the unique yells that our school does. Um, they're unique to Texas A&M and unique to the 12th man. As the echoes of whoops and marching drums resound throughout Aggieland, 11 hours later, kickoff begins. A 60-minute battle against the Tigers of LSU. As game day approaches, Aggies from near and far converge on College Station, transforming this quiet town on Highway 6 into a city crowded with maroon and white. For former students, the pilgrimage is a homecoming. For current students, the event of the week has arrived. In Aggieland, football is more than a game or a tradition. It's a family event, 80,000 plus strong. My name is Oz Coleman and I'm with ESPN. And my experience here at Cal Field has been absolutely wonderful. The 12th man has got to be the most exciting thing going on. And plus coming here, the excitement level is from top to bottom. Well, NFL, there's pockets of excitement. But when you come to Cal Field, it's excitement all the way through the game. And I'm very happy to be here. I remember coming to games here as a kid and just thinking what an amazing place this was. Um, but what was even weirder was just my dad's reaction to coming back and how much he just reminisced and loved every minute and every second that he was here. Um, and that's really what tipped me off to how special of a place A&M was. At a young age, I couldn't necessarily see it all, but I could definitely see just the change in my dad anytime he came back to College Station. A lot of energy here. People are getting here earlier. More people are coming out. Uh, bigger spreads through the tailgate scene. It's just, everything's bigger. It's it's nowhere near it was um, 10, 15 years ago. It just seems to, seems like you see this kind of thing almost every weekend, even for the off games. Of course, everybody's hyped up right now, but uh, it's it's just amazing how the, the the former student and alumni support has just kept up, and this this place is is amazing on game day. But our fans feel like they're very astute to the game and they and they genuinely care about what's going on in the field and and they tailgate and, and, and do that kind of stuff just to, to kind of fellowship and be around friends but the actual most exciting part of their day is the actual game I feel like people here actually look forward to those moments on Kyle and and uh, it's just a, it's a different fan following and uh, I was so fortunate I got a, a chance to be a part of it because I've been other places and it's just not the case 
it's just exciting to see all the people come in, even the people from the other teams. Uh, the city fills with maroon and excited people everywhere waving their Aggie flags. Uh, old Ags coming up and talking to you, asking, you know, how, how have you been keeping A&M up? You know, I have things changed here. How's it going? And it's, it's just a neat experience. and they always bring up the 12th man um, but behind the 12th man it's the energy and it's the enthusiasm uh, but more importantly than that it's just the passion for Texas a and that all these fans have. It starts with the pregame and the pageantry uh, the tradition. Well the difference is the students and the core. The core makes this whole thing comes together and being part of the 12th man you know that makes this experience better than any other experience in, in the uh, NCAA. With, with the, the opening kickoff, I mean, you, you've got 30,000 students, uh, more than any other uh, university in, in, in the country, that stand and, and cheer the, the, the whole game. Standing the entire game, I had never seen that before. Uh, I have family members, uh, grandparents and stuff who were uh, Longhorns, go to Longhorn games, and people just sit all game and, you know, didn't feel like they really, would really get into it. And I was just blown back by the student section. That is something special that I don't think I'll ever see anything like again in my life. And I remember we were out doing the Spirit of Aggieland, and um, whenever, they, uh, whenever they start doing yells at the very end, um, just the walls of sound that hit you, um, I don't think I'd ever heard it that loud. And I'd never seen just a so many eager and, and just excited Aggies for what was about to take place. Gonna be there. They're gonna be loud. I mean, really, the energy here at Kyle, it, its just a—I'm trying to—I'm trying to put it into words. After you get that second down stop, and it comes third down, the fans they start reveling up, and then once that offense comes out the huddle, and you hear the offense, they're trying to make their check, and they're uh, yelling and everything, and they still can't hear each other. And then once you make that stop, and the crowd goes nuts, it, it's crazy. definitely tell there was some confusion sometimes whenever they are on offense and then uh, whenever they were kind of setting up the offense with their coach kind of huddled right on the sideline and it was really loud I mean you, you could hear Les Miles screaming just trying to to communicate with them um, and that's something that just makes Kyle Field special. Uh, our, our assistant coaches here who hadn't been here before that uh, I said when that fourth quarter in between the third and fourth quarter uh, whether I was the home team or the away team and I was in the press box, I would turn my chair completely around and, and not look because the whole thing's moving. And then, you, you know, the press box is moving and then the, uh, whether it's, it's, uh, 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 it's not true or not, but the, but the swaying back and forth, it can, it can create some problems for you. Um, what made it really different was the school spirit. There is no school spirit better than Texas A&M at Kyle Field. And I have a plethora of uh, memories, great memories at this stadium. Um, and to be honest with you, Arrowhead is a great stadium. I think probably the top three uh, arenas to play in, but man, there's nothing like the college atmosphere, the pride, the spirit. You just have to explain, this is something like you've never experienced before. I mean, you can go to professional football games, you can go to, you know, top-ranked teams, and the crowd atmosphere that A&M has is completely unmatched. In Aggieland, it's been said there's a spirit that can ne'er be told. It's that same spirit that comes alive in the Aggie family on game day. The spirit of the 12th man and a spirit of home for all Aggies. I think there's a real connection uh, with, with, our, with our team and the 12th man and, and because of not only the tradition, but uh, these are, these are the, the, the guys and, and, and 
that uh, and, and girls that they sit in, in class with, they walk on campus and, and look up and see them standing the whole the whole time. Uh, it, it was emotional to, to know how much the fans care. When you go into the field and, you, and you, the crowd's cheering for you, I feel like it's different from other places because it's like a brother or sister or cousin's cheering for you. We want to show those Aggies that we're there for them. It doesn't matter if we win or lose, you know, we're going to be the loudest crowd ever and that's it's just special to have that. Um, they show that passion and the vested interest and, and it really doesn't matter who's out there on the field, what names are on the back of the jerseys. Um, it just matters that it's sex Texas A&M and regardless of what sport it is, not just football, um, but they care about sex A&M and they love sex a &M. The Aggies could go a winless season. I guarantee you student section would be almost maximum full every game, standing the entire game. That's just something really special that I'm glad we get to experience here. But just the spirit of Aggieland just transcends winning and losing. It's about the experience all together. And so for the 12th man, to me, just means of always belonging to the Aggie family.